Welcome on this lovely Wednesday. I hope everyone is doing fine and having a great time. As you can see, I have another exciting coin. In fact, this is, well, being released on the day it's being released by the Silver Trader. So, if you like what you see, check out the links down below. We can find a link to Silver Trader's website. You're going to want to get one of these. Uh, or not, I'm not sure really. Um, and you'll also find a link to the Precious Metal Forum. And you'll find a link, of course, to my own personal website, Ace Bullion. So, without further ado, a brand new coin series, and I'm excited. So, here we go. So here it is, this is a brand new coin. It's the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. In fact, this one's called the White Horse. And well, <laughs> first impressions on this coin right here is that it's rather busy, but I'll explain, you'll see it and everything else. However, I you'll, you'll hear my verdict at the end. Second impressions. Boy, oh boy, does that not look familiar to anybody? This is the Certificate of Authenticity. And no, it is not by the Germania Mint, believe it or not. As you can clearly see, it is by the Carpathian Mint. Hmm, looks very similar, but there's the website down below. So this is the White Horse, and then it says the Four Horsemen um, of the Apocalypse. Very, very interesting. Now. I've already kind of pre-made up my mind, so I'm going to keep this coin because it's the first. Um, and then I'll see what the second is like. But there is a, a serial number on the bottom, and uh, yeah, you will see it. So this is to certify that the uh, silver bullion coin, and it is a coin, believe it or not, the white horse uh, from the series, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, is authorized by the Carpathian Mint and it has a limited mintage worldwide and is minted in um, conformity with the following specifications. One is a 2023, is the uh, year date. Two, it has a face value of five Italiers. Now, you're wondering what that is, look it up, but it's, it's uh, essentially a way around um, putting the island of Nui. Hmm, didn't really realize that. Metal uh, is three nines fine, weight is an ounce, and then there you go for the diameter. So it's 38.61, it's a BU, but it's limited to just 10,000. Uh, down below we have my serial number, so I say my because I'm gonna keep this, of 03302. And then we have a awesome holographic image. Now take a look at it as I'm moving it, You'll see the shield and crest, and you'll see the two lions on either side. Um, and again, it just, this oozes quality. In fact, it's a really nice COA, or Certificate of Authenticity. Right, on with the coin, because we're going to start at the reverse. Now, before I zoom in, you're going to see one, two, three, four horses, as one would expect. It's the four, ho four horsemen of the apocalypse. And then we're gonna see uh, the Carpathian um, shield and crest with five Talliers. The date is 2023. Again, there's that same shield that was showing in the holographic and also on the front of the um, COA. Now, also in this background, besides the four horses, what you will see, and I'm gonna have to zoom in to kind of focus on some of these things, is that you will see a major fight scene. And uh, it's rather difficult to show, so I'm holding it with two hands so that I can stabilize it. There's some kind of warrior there holding a short, like a long uh, sword. Um, there's, well, what looks to be another horse or something or a person getting piked. And then we have some characters just off in the back of the distance that are just kind of randomly placed. To me, it's a little bit too busy, as I said, and this is that's why. I think if they would have gotten rid of these characters here on the side, coming up to the rim, uh, so that you have the horse's mane and then the rim, 
that would have made the horses stand out a little bit. And then again, do we really need this much fight scene? I'm not really too sure. Um, it does detract away from when you're looking at the coin. But then again, then again, don't be fooled. It's also pretty dang cool because you get to take a look at various things and you, you're always discovering new and interesting bits. Uh, such as, of course, there's a, a warrior here. I'm not sure if he's dead or alive based upon his position. I would say he's dead. Um, you got more warriors coming in various shapes, body parts, you name it. It's, it's a gruesome but interesting coin. It does have a reeded edge going all the way along the side of it. And I know the Silver Trader supplies these in the capsule. So there you go. I'm not sure how they're actually packaged, to be brutally honest. So I'm not going to say. Now, on the face, on, on the front, you're going to see, of course, the white horse, which is frosted. And what I do really like and I really appreciate by this summit is that they've gone to to the lengths of ensuring that there's some mirror finish to help distinguish between the two. Um, now that does include the writing up above. And if we take a look, we shall see it here very clearly. And it should say, the, it says, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And then we got some really interesting bits. I'm not quite sure why that is actually um, glossy in that area, but clearly they're trying to help break up the matting uh, on it. We have the white horse there. So that's cool. And then, of course, we have a archer uh, with a, a crown of some description um, firing off his bow towards, of course, you know, what appears to be, I don't know, some kind of people of some description. Um, and it does look actually pretty dang good. The white horse, again, um, you could tell that the uh, faces are not the strong point, um, which begs me to believe, <laughs> how could this not be done by the Germania Mint? Um, in a lot of ways, I, I really... Really, I'm struggling. Hold on. So I ended up with a random blur there. Um, and that's because I'm having to zoom in and magnify that much on this coin to show you all the little details around it. Um, but as I was saying, it's interesting that the face, again, has that same feature and characteristic that Germania Mint do. Now, it all kind of screams similar. And that's not a bad thing. Um, it's a really good thing. So there's a separate mint that's doing something else, whether they're related or not, who really cares? At the end of the day, it's a beautiful coin, in my opinion. Yeah, a little bit too busy for me. Um, again, yeah, what are your thoughts and opinions on it? What do you think of the white horse? Um, there's only going to be four of these in the series. This is number one. So you only are going to be having four. That's it, apparently. Uh, no more, no less. Four uh, coins will be coming out. And I kind of hope, in a weird way, that they bring out a 10-ounce version. And I know that'll make Martin cringe, because then you can see the details much better. Or... Perhaps they might just be a lot worse because when I was zooming in, you can't see the details incredibly well. Either which way, I like it. As I said, I'm going to end up buying this one. You've seen already what my serial number is. So, are you going to be getting a hold of one of these? I'm curious to know. Leave your comments down below. Smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It does help out a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.